In episode 137, I painted and completed my gunsmith shop. It had wooden shingles. However, in this episode, we're going to show you how to make an old rusty tin roof. So come sit a spell in our craft room with us. You're watching Dungeons and Coffee. Greetings. So it's time I did something with this old box. So I'm going to put a tin roof on here. So this old building is going to look like it's unkept, sort of in disrepair. You can see the techniques I use on how I make these buildings fast and easy in some of my previous videos. So check those out. This corrugated cardboard that I like to use, you can find this in about any pizza box. You can also find this as a packing material in a box that you might purchase a plate or coffee cup in. Something like that. Now I don't want this roof to look too uniform. I don't want all the sheets to be exactly the same size. So I'm cutting some odds and ends kind of pieces here. Because I want this to look like it was pieced together as time went by and they just used what they had on hand. After I've painted all these tin sheets, I'm going to glue them onto this cardstock, and that's going to be my roof. So I'm going to start with the light gray. That's going to be the base coat for these medium corrugated metal sheets. Notice here how I've mixed another color together and the gray isn't perfectly matched. Well, that's a good thing. I can use that discoloration to make it look even more weathered and worn. And you notice this sheet that I'm painting here, it's also a little bit torn and ragged near the bottom. That's okay. That's what these galvanized sheets look like when they get all rusty and, and tear and break and crack. As you can see, here's what they look like when they've dried. And we're just going to coat these with some good old fashioned cheap Elmer's glue. It's going to do three things for us. It's going to make the sheets stronger. It's going to give them a little bit of shine and it's going to make that paint go on nice and thin and even and it's going to be beautiful. It'll keep the cardboard from absorbing too much paint. So we'll be able to slide this around and use our washes very effectively. So I'm going to start here with a dark rusty brown wash. So I'm going to do each piece. I want to make sure I don't repeat the same pattern. And as I do this, I'm just trying to imagine, as I put these colors in these washes, I'm just trying to imagine where the sun is beating down the most, where it might be getting some shade, how the rain and the weather is, uh, is leaking down and uh, causing everything to run. Now, as you can see, we could stop right here, but I'm gonna add a little more to it. I want this to look like this, uh, this old house is in disrepair. I forgot to show in the video, but I did also use uh, the same technique, but also use some dark red. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of orange. I want to be light with this one. Yeah, with these last couple colors, the orange especially, we're just going to dab and rub, dab and rub. Do a little blending, and you've got yourself the look we're going for. So here I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you that there's three different stages of neglect you can put on these, these metal sheets. So this is just to show side by side here how the more washes and color you use, the more deteriorated your metal sheet is going to look. And there's a pile of tin sheets. Now I can glue these down to my cardstock and I've got myself a roof. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out my other videos. And Facebook pages, we have Dungeons and Coffee, we have a guy drinking beer, and we also have a page dedicated to my board game coming out soon, Dial the Dice. Check that out on Facebook as well. You might have some good ideas I can use. Until next time. Remember, keep your books off the table and keep reaching for the dice. <laughs>